Weiter geht's mal wieder mit Afterparty. Ähm, wie einige von euch schon auf Twitter wahrscheinlich gelesen haben, werde ich, äh, beziehungsweise nehme ich das gerade an dem Tag auf, wo es hochgeladen wird, deswegen kommt die Folge auch ein bisschen später, kam einiges dazwischen. Aber wir müssten, wenn alles gut läuft, mit, der, äh, mit dem Ganzen spätestens am Sonntag eigentlich durch sein. Ähm, und da kurz noch das Update. Äh, aufgrund meiner Controller-Probleme habe ich jetzt auf Maus und Tastatur gewechselt, was dem Ganzen eigentlich keinen großen Abbruch machen sollte, außer dass man meinen Maustager sieht. Aber ja, weiter geht's mit dem Feiern. Ich sollte nicht klatschen, ich glaube, das ist ein bisschen zu laut, oder? Naja, kann ich zur Not rauscutten oder minimieren. Das ist late. Ich bin auch die ganze Zeit am überlegen, ob ich ein paar Szenen aus Auction Free mal zeige. Ich möchte aber nicht, dass da möchte ich ungern das ganze Spiel zeigen. Einfach, äh, wenn ich mir denke, ja, das könnte man. Ähm, oh, Space. Ähm, selber ähm, spielen. Habe ich hier halt auch gedacht, aber ich dachte, nee, weißt du, ich spiele jetzt After Party komplett durch. Passt halt ganz gut und ich habe so lange angeteased. Äh, <lacht> She had a strong personality, right? I'm thinking of Demi Moore and Disclosure. Ben? Yeah, who's Ben? Beth. Beth the Behemoth. Uh, uh, as Maurice's ex. I don't know how those two ever got together. But maybe you just... You just get what you can get down here. Yeah, she was kind of a piece of work. I don't know how demons can be so career-focused. Upward mobility must be pretty limited. I guess I just don't know why we even roped her into it all, you know? I feel like sometimes you do things just to see how far you can, like, push it. So this is your nonsensical way to talk to me about moving away again? I didn't say anything about moving. Yes, moving is needlessly complicating things to you, right? Well, now that we're on the subject, why are you... Because you can burn the swap meet and the drive-in and the all-night diner to the ground, Milo. I want new experiences. I want to feel good about my life. We took your lead with Greg the dead guy, and you'll do what you want with this too. Everything always comes up Lola Wolf. Me and you will just be a footnote in your autobiography. How I Got Awesome. The story of Lola... What are you... Are you really bringing up that skis bag from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. Like, did Wormhorn become a brain parasite? Is she eating your cerebellum? What is going on? Nothing is going on. Forget it. The, uh, the, the heat is probably just getting to me. Well, I hope that's it. Cripes. Okay. Ähm, oh. Hauptsache die Tür ist schon auf, aber der Aufzug ist noch nicht da. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern, dass äh, Dings so gleich geht. Did I ever tell you my completely unfounded fear of elevators getting stuck with me in one? It'll be alright, Milo. It's good. It's gonna start up again in no time. <lacht> Und das war so klar. Elevators typically only kill 30 people per year, Milo. Of course, that doesn't take into account how many people are murdered inside an elevator, so, you know, who's to say your next trip up the lift won't be your last? <laughs> But let's take a look at what terribly excruciating memories are burning up the charts. Coming in at number three. Oh, I can't believe it's so low. Milo taking the time to regain his conscience. Oh, what a horribly inefficient way to use company time. Unless, of course, you were just scared to finally let your inner monologue act on your behalf. I wasn't myself without him, Wormhorn. Like I was wearing, like, ill-fitting clothes or something. Your grandmother didn't knit you a purple sweater, man. You were free to do whatever the fuck you wanted. And you bottled it all up inside the absolutely fastest you could. Shame. Wormhorn. And speaking of dancing, coming in at number two. Milo lost the competition. You gave up the golden goose for Asmodeus, the guy that designs how humans get tortured in hell. Talk about a betrayal of the natural order. You roll on your back because a demon can remember your first fucking name? Where's your spine? Where's your, your sense of honor? Hey, so I wanted to help Asmodeus, all right? It worked out. We, we got the seal and got them together. And he said to text if we need anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he said to text, did he? Turn on red receipts. See if you ever get a ding from that asshole. And the new number one recollection on this completely <laughs> made-up list is... Oh! Oh, shoot. How'd this one get in here? It looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a powerful leader of industry. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. 
Oh my god, no. How, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been, uh, whatever. Moving on. And the new top-ranked what-the-hell-were-they-thinking thing they did. Get us Modius and Beth back together again. Yeah, let's take a volatile, childish, dangerously corpulent torture chamberist and put them back together with a self-obsessed marketing executive that listens to the Eagles. <laughs> That'll work. Enough, Wormhorn. Can it and open the doors. What? I'm trying my best. I I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films. Ich finde das immer noch cool, dass sie es halt aufzählt, was wir so gemacht haben. No, you know what? Why should I? Tell me. Why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just I just burn time till there's nothing left? Uh, because it's more fun to let us out and watch us try and fail than sitting in this dark room on your first night in existence. I guess that's hard to argue. Ugh, whatever. Just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. Okay, jetzt hat sie was gesagt, das äh, nicht ganz so super ist. Yeah, that bit's not getting any fresher, I can tell you that much. Das heißt, sie mögen sich eigentlich, I aber... You, by the way. Yeah, I don't hate you either. Hell is very hot. Milo, is it going? Uh, sorry for ending it was my... Uh, it's fella. He seems wasted. Oh. God. He's just saying he's sorry for earlier. Should I put him back? Uh, if you want. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> nee, it looks good. Also manche Sachen sind ja schon irgendwie ein bisschen... Oh, ich glaube, ich habe die... Ver nee, ich glaube, ich bin richtig, oder? Ich hoffe, ich bin richtig. Nee, ich bin... Nee, ich bin falsch. Kein Taxi-Schild, kein Taxi. Äh, die Lauferei... Das hatte ich in Oxenfree anfangs auch ein bisschen. Ich wusste halt nie, wo ich hingehen muss. <lacht> Aber das ist schon äh, interessant, dass Wormhorn sich jetzt gedacht hat, okay, ich erzähle denen das, damit sie äh, uns gegeneinander ausspielt. Weil ich nehme an, dass einer den anderen mag. Aber irgendeiner ist halt sauer auf den anderen aus Gründen. Weil ich glaube, Lola wollte wegziehen. Und Lola hat auch gesagt, dass sie halt eher nur Freunde sind, während Milo sich zumindest irgendwie was erhofft hat anscheinend. Also, Taxi. So. Und zwar möchte ich dahin, wo wir noch nie waren. Hätten wir vorhin schon hinkommen können, wo wir die eine Quest hatten, um reinzukommen. Puh, Apollyon und Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the Monarchs, the Seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were all just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall and the first guy died, she she still believed in the rule book, you know, for a time anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Does does Apollyon still is that still her job, the judge of the damned? Dead. Dead. Uh, no, she she retired, sort of. After her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Estran now. 
Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a like, like a retrial or something? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Das wird interessant, aber sie wird uns auch nicht rauslassen, weil sonst geht es mehrfach hinten und wir könnten schnell raus und... Okay, Little Rantalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually... Supreme. All the rulings are final. Huh. I thought about going to law school for a minute. I, uh, I switched majors a lot. Only about a hundred million times? Well, what's the point of majors when the world's burning? Okay? At least, that was the... Wasn't that the title of your application? I was just I... gonna say that. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So, how, how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Not likely. Okay. Schon wieder ein äh, Club, in den wir offiziell nicht reinkommen. Äh, ich muss mal ganz kurz äh, meinen Sound muten. Weiter geht's. Ähm... Who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humbers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure. What What do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just uh, just straighten my hair a little? Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound so I cannot reach my head. Uh, please, it is a kindness I would cherish to my soul. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off, is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal, but I am not so inventively rude. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection um, I am allowed before eternal damnation. Can we can. Ah, we can Interesting uh, uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. It's not the worst thing you could think of. I don't watch a lot of male-directed porn, okay? I prefer my porn yeah, AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries. The sealed knot. I think this is the place. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Uh, listen, bouncer guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, uh foot hands. Wow. Oh, right this way, sir. That's what I'm for. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's done. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius, and I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. 
Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to... G whatever. Okay, I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, so all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah? Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... <laughs> let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. Shut up. Uh, hey, so <laughs> you told Sam about <laughs> how I was going to work with my mom. Yeah. Well, you... Uh, I don't know. You, you didn't seem... Uh, well, you did seem a little, like... I, 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 I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need, like, a thesaurus. Uh, did I sound happy for you? Because I am. I'm happy as a damn clam you're staying behind to build breakaway furniture for magician wrestlers. Yeah, you really sound clam happy right now. I mean, you're just... It's just weird, because you're the one that's moving. Uh, I'm staying in town. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your... your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. Okay, da ist es schon. Sie fangen sich langsam an. Nun ja. Gut, dann versuchen wir mal da reinzukommen. Ich weiß auch nicht, ich habe echt gedacht, das wäre ein Trick von dem, dass er uns jetzt irgendwie irgendwas passiert und deswegen dachte ich, ich gehe mal weiter, aber anscheinend... Ich bin mal gespannt, ob Wormhorn dann ankommt und sagt, ja, jetzt helft mich mal irgendwelchen Leuten. Und Okay, da kommen wir nicht rein. Wahrscheinlich müssen wir da später rein. Okay, hier ist das Ende. War dieses riesige Höhlentor oder was das da ist im Hintergrund. Aber dass man auch in der Bar startet, ist so merkwürdig. Man müsste ja meinen, dass man zumindest irgendwie durch eine Tür kommt oder irgendwo ist, aber nicht auf einmal, oh, wir, wir haben hier diese Bar hingebaut, deswegen, wenn ihr in die Hölle kommt, kommt ihr alle in diese Bar, weil sie genau da steht, wo alle Leute, die neu hier sind, reinkommen. Okay. The Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like, do they deserve to be tortured in hell? No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart! 
I am Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, so down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and <laughs> intelligent people require some measure of. God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell you to have what you want, or be gone. You need clothes. Your dress. It's so. I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials, of course. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Eh, hey, what's the hold up? My lord, here, yes. son. Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola bellied rats, do you, my dear? Yeah, dog. This is the fucking bomb. Oh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come on. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the... the dress, you... Oh, God. Mm. Why was I born? Okay. Follow Lutzelfrau and smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume. Who's gonna be the head and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're like way taller, aren't you? <laughs> Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that. Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Ta-da! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, yeah. whoa. It's Stop wiggling your shoulders so much, it's... Not your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm oh, sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry. Hey, it's not too late to switch, okay? If little mister, of course I'm fine with it. Of course I'm cool with it. Of course it's too late, and I am cool with it. If a demon sees us change, it's... We're screwed, so let's... I'll press on. We're pressing on. Just take it easy. Just stop humping my neck. Humping humping neck. Stop rubbing your crotch Maybe, on my uh... neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Okay, right, just forget it. Tally-ho! Tally... Tally forth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. Gut, dann äh, haben wir jetzt schon den Kram, den wir brauchen. Dann gehen wir jetzt runter wahrscheinlich. Die schicken uns dann wieder hoch. Und die schicken uns dann ganz hoch. Und ja. Bin mal gespannt, was wir jetzt von dem an sind. Aber das war einfacher, als ich gedacht hätte. Und da kommt der Vorteil halt wieder, wir sind in der Hölle, also können wir halt eigentlich machen, was wir wollen, weil uns kann halt nichts mehr umgehen. Und wenn wir halt komplett in der Wand flippen. in there, footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <coughs> have to check with the owner. Then yeah. check with him. I've got less than an is... hour till trial. 
Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon, very put together, upscale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy, he is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Uh -oh. oh, my apologies. Excuse me. Uh, but you you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. Geholfen, hätten wir vielleicht okay. Mit you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Avert your eyes, surf. I was braining insurance agents when you were still suckling at your dragon's teat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. <laughs> Try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy shit. The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Wow, supermodel okay. convention show up. What can I get you? Uh, ich dachte, ich kann die noch uh, vor, the yeah. blue devil, p mm, please. Yeah. You getting sick? <laughs> Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Uh, demons like me don't get sick, pal. My insurance will cover a small nation of very unhealthy Your people. insurance, huh? That sounds like something two humans disguised as one demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Hi, uh, mind if, mind if we smell that? Smells like a a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not. I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I'm not quite ready to order yet, plebe. Give us, give me a, a minute. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, pal. You think I'm the help? <laughs> With that suit, why wouldn't he? Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today, I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this um, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it by thesaurus. You buy it, thesaurus. God, how do you stand this garish oaf, Polly? Hey, watch who you call an oaf. That's one letter from loaf, and I do not like bread. Do I know you? If you did, you'd remember, trust me. It's not every day you get to meet someone who wears two watches to bed. All right, I'm going to reload. Right, Anybody want another? Ah, uh, look at a hearse chaser. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm a Drelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, new lead counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. 
And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught the spell's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Um, Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. The really? The Scuttlebutt? Major General Scuttlebutt? Wait, this is a real person? Major. It's a pleasure to meet you. While you were serving on the northern flanks, I was fighting the Imperial Eagle in Heaven's Sixth Sphere. Remind me again, how was the combat in the Fifth Stars? <laughs> oh, I love a good war story. Yes, General, please regale us. Oh, I, uh, I napped, mostly. We had foot soldiers for that sort of thing. What sort of thing? Oh, you know, dying. God, the jackhole ahead of me couldn't decide between a bitter or an ale. There was a rumor going around that he'd become a pathetic vagrant. Pooping himself and sleeping outside. Well, take it from me, General Scuttlebutt. I'm very glad to know that that's obviously not the case. Your General Major Scuttlebutt? <laughs> uh, pleasure. Didn't know. So, anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So, guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Major Scuttlebutt? I was just about to ask the same question. I'm in the, uh, the pants department. Slacks, mostly shorts, if I'm feeling frisky. Pants? Can't say I've ever heard of that. Oh, are you with the satyrs? Yeah, what floor of fucking Kmart is that on again? Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Wait, guys, Polly isn't... our... <laughs> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no, going about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, well, hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think... I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. Wait, wait, wait. Polly wants to run hell? Why the fuck would anybody want to do that? Oh, I don't know. The publicity, the fame, the hedge fund managers sacrificing hookers to you every day. And you know, it's horrible to say, but she has a good heart. And hell doesn't have to just be about what went wrong. It could be about... Other things, too. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Right. Courthouse oh. opens soon. It was nice meeting you. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get, like, excited about it. Yeah, let's let's not get distracted from the uh, the smaller picture here. We just want to get home, not necessarily involved in any interdemon corporate power struggles here. Let's just uh, find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere cuz oh, gross guys. What is going on? I can't I can't see. Why does it smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank God. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. 
Wouldn't you agree, Major Scuttlebutt? <laughs> I'd like to maybe think about this longer than you might expect. <laughs> My knees are going to be angry at me tomorrow. Hey, you! You sorcerer! You turned me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings! You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. I drink! But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that matter. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to... replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Yeah. Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story. Correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more, to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Uh, um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's <laughs> Office. Uh, uh... Seriously? Yes. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Major Scuttlebutt. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? Meow. You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Fair? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. <laughs> if you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. Hey, if you say so. All ready? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat. And see you on the hey. other side, kids. You, uh, you want to get in on this? Sent me to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own brutal and eggman, Thank you, thank you. Now my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved, not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. What? I need a drink. Yes, hear, hear. Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother, spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth, and just get me something with gin in it, will you? Um. 
And for you, uh, madam. Double Talk klingt interessant. Aber sie haben schon recht, dass man... Äh, egal was man macht und sagt, man kommt irgendwie immer weiter. Also das ist mit dem Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tedavillis presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tedavillis. Yeah, hi. Cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit. This is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly wants thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, your honor? He was hired as a fortune teller and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client Roberto Spaghetti. I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti. I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. Faster. I just want to say that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do uh, anything wrong. <laughs> you have this confession with you? Mean, hey. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, all right. right. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes, it turns your face into a rabbit. It got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. Here, see? Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, he put that... Sorry, it's an inside joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food and I... Time's up. Trial's done and none too soon. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you! Not guilty? By reason of sorcery. Ah, grazie. Uh, uh, Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately released oh, oh. from the guardianship of custodial aid. And let's all it's pray like he enjoys nature documentaries, because God knows that's all they fucking watch up there. Skittlebutt, we did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that that due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. We sacrificed a lot for this, Andy. Yeah, we needed Polly's seal, and she probably won't give it to us now that we did the exact opposite of what she wanted. I'll tell her what happened, don't worry. She couldn't have had all the facts. That confession came in last minute. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The High Courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok Fuel Pump Sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot harder for us. I know it sounds selfish, but just, I, I, I don't know. We did the right thing, Milo. Roberto was innocent. He doesn't deserve to be here. I would hope if someone could help us in the same way, they would. 
Ich glaube, es ist ein bisschen mehr als ein Wie gesagt, ich habe mal gelesen, beziehungsweise ich glaube in dem Test gehört, dass egal was man macht, das alles immer. Milo? Lola? Äh, uh, maybe. Apollyon wants to see you. Immediately. Go to first and insert right now. She's waiting for you at the school, your straggler. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. Okay, ich glaube, sie ist ein bisschen sauer, wahrscheinlich. Mal gucken. Nee, aber ich habe gehört, dass es halt irgendwie immer weitergeht, egal welche Entscheidung man hier trifft und äh, demnach. Ah. Gigantische Föhntor. The sign says that giant door is the the 87th propyleum to the nine circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Kokro to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before Kokro. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. Ah, wir sind hier ganz oben. Okay. Nee, Moment. Ach, wir sind da gewesen, wo wir noch nicht längst gegangen sind. Gut, dann. Also entweder wird sie uns in First Camp Isard sehen, um in der Bar zu trinken, oder sie will uns öffentlich aufhängen. Und Ja. Ist gerade super duper sauer. Könnte sich jetzt auch herausstellen, dass das Geständnis falsch ist und er das einfach nur von irgendeinem sich gekrallt hat, um den Typen freizulassen. Und deswegen sollten wir ihn in die Hölle schmeißen oder so. Und er kommt jetzt frei und macht wieder Böses. Ich meine, zugegeben, es ist nicht ganz anders wie diese Spiele, wo man die ganzen Entscheidungen trifft und so. Und dann hier hat man noch ein kleines bisschen Feedback, aber auch nicht so viel verglichen mit anderen. Äh. Ja, Sam ist gar nicht da. Achso, ich dachte, Sam wäre da oder, oh. oder irgendwie ein anderes. What should we do? Should I try and climb in front and like steer? Not that I want to, but I'm nervous of careening into like an evil buoy or something. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help us. She has to have like a uh, remote well, way to remotely control this thing. Mm, why does she have to have that? Um, because it's magic? God, <laughs> dude, all the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the... You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend after I get alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's my turn. Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective. So self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. Everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Wow. Leave Lola this is alone, Wormhorn. Okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. What? I'm sorry. I, you're so much stronger than I am physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. You know, I bet your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a pathetic security guard demon just to sneak into the House of Lies. And then you out-party a monarch of Hades as Lodius. That's, that's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. 
twice, assholes, but still, you don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? All right, who the hell cares what Lola's sisters think about her now, Wormhorn? Hey, I don't care about anything except doing an excellent job excellently. She's the one that cares what her sisters think. No, I don't. At least, not as much as I like, used to. Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. And lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner and pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced, too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like, it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal psyche. Just ignore them, Lola. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the almighty, in fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Yeah, no, we're definitely not here because Lola read the Odyssey of the HMS Beagle or whatever. Uh, don't be so sure. God doesn't really appreciate vanity. It's not vanity. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it. So why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because I can at least do that, Wormhorn, okay? I can care, I, I can care, even when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family, and you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, Mine? Mine? really? Mine? Mine? Yes, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam. Thank God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this zip code so close to hell, then? Ugh, fine, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And, uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car, so. Sorry? Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do you even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back to the Strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think yeah. the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Well, I hope so. Das sollte jetzt entweder richtig gut oder richtig schlecht ist. Weil der erste war ja, den ersten, den wir verdammt haben, war ja mehr oder weniger unschuldig, äh, war ja mehr oder weniger schuldig, er hat sich an der Hölle geschlichen. 
Aber er klingt ja unschuldig, wir haben ja auch das Geständnis und sowas. Wobei wir halt zu wenig äh, Feedback hatten, um genau zu sagen, ob er jetzt unschuldig ist oder nicht. Nein, ja. Achso, wir, wir müssen da rein. Wie ist das? das? Achso, so heißt das Ding. Okay. You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, what? I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Um, how do you even know that? I'm a seraphim, dear. I've looked through the heavenly telescope into every hazard of time. I can tell by how you tie your shoes what you think you want out of life. <sighs> you thought you were doing the right thing. Like Vortigern inviting the Jutes and losing Britain in the process. Like you giving Greg to Fella in exchange for his invitation. You are trying to do the right thing. Is that why you let Roberta go to heaven? To meet God. And to be disappointed? Yes, I thought I did it because he's innocent. And if there's a heaven, then he deserves to be there. We deserve to be there too, you know. You sure about that? Standing as you are in hell. Don't try to confuse the issue, Polly. Of the three of us, only two of us have souls. You do, that's true. But I had wings. Let's have a drink. Come on. Contests of drunken endurance are as old as simians. But the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Serfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Huh, sounds a little familiar. Except, didn't they take baths, like, once a year? I don't take baths ever. Yeah, but you shower. Yes. You have sewers and sanitation now. And, sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but <laughs> until then, you can get toilet paper online. So. The point is, people have always drunk to excess. Drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day, and you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So, what are you saying exactly? That, what, that getting drunk is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Cause yeah, I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except uh, animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. Um, okay, also was sie damit sagen will, ist wahrscheinlich der Himmel ist gar nicht so gut, wie es den Anschein hat. So wirkt es nun nicht gerade. Und schön, dass es nicht getriggert hat, dass wir hochgehen und dabei reden. Aber Vielleicht sollte er hier bleiben, weil es hier besser ist. Das wegen. Finally, how long does it take to clean the fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys, Roberto is going to be a piece of something happening tonight. His absence will make it more difficult, but it is still going to happen. So I'm going to drink with you now because you did what you thought was right. And if that annoys me tonight, I can still respect it tomorrow. Sound good? Polly, seriously, are you are you trying to take over hell? Focus on getting my seal, Lola. Once you're gone, this will all have been like a bad dream. Whenever you're ready. This is interesting. Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's ladder wins. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Anna cool. one, Anna two, and... I'm gonna be honest, this is not a Als good look. Als ob das mit der Maus so viel einfacher ist. Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning! Man, why are you so good at Geht's this? Jetzt mal ernsthaft. Mit dem Controller war das total schwer, weil sich das Glas selbst bewegt hat. Und ich musste einfach drücken. Come on, Lola, you're falling behind! Und hier behind. kann ich... 
äh, mit, muss ich Maus hin und her bewegen. Es schwankt zwar. Toll. Ähm, ja, sorry, gerade war Telefon und ich muss jetzt ein paar Sachen cutten. Deswegen nicht wundern auch, dass ich gerade Standbild habe und so.